Different leaders have different styles of leadership. There's probably no one right way to be a good leader. That said, there are undoubtedly certain key skills which most good leaders share. Some of these skills have been dealt with previously in the series. Communication skills, decision-making skills, and planning, organising and prioritising. In addition to possessing these skills, good leaders are able to take responsibility and have plenty of initiative. They can motivate and inspire others. They understand and empathise with those in their team, which enables them to choose the best person for a task. And they lead by example, showing trustworthiness, integrity and respect for others. They are also able to think strategically, flexibly and creatively and are willing to take feedback on board as well as give others appropriate and constructive feedback. It is a set of skills that some people are naturally good at. But leadership is also definitely something which can be taught and which does not necessarily require a specific type of personality. Leadership skills are sometimes thought of as something which may only be needed by a few people at the top of organisations. However, organisations are becoming flatter and it is more and more common for everyone in a team to be asked to take on some kind of leadership role. Leadership skills are also important while studying. Students may, for example, need to lead a group project or mentor other students. Looking ahead, such skills will also help them build their confidence and learn how to take responsibility and show initiative, skills valued by employers. As teachers, we are also leaders and we can model good leadership skills for our students, as well as offering them opportunities to develop their own ability to lead. Many people believe that a good leader has to be a born leader, that it isn't something which can be taught. However, as we have seen, leadership skills can be quantified and they can indeed be learned. This doesn't mean that we have to teach our students to change their natural personalities. Many quiet, shy people actually make great leaders. For example, Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg who both consider themselves to be introverted. People also sometimes think that being a leader means inspiring everyone to follow your vision. Certainly it is important to be inspiring, or at least motivating, and to have a vision. However, it is at least equally important to listen to what others have to say and to be willing to change direction when necessary. Being a good leader is much more than simply getting people to do what you want. Help students to see how leadership is important in their daily lives and give them plenty of opportunities to step up and lead. Enable them to understand the different elements of leadership and encourage them to enhance the skills they already have and to develop new skills. One way to do this in class might be to learn about different people who have shown great leadership and evaluate what exactly helped them lead so effectively. Another important point is to make sure that everyone in the class is given the opportunity to lead at times. By definition, being a leader has to involve being able to think for oneself and take initiative. As students mature, we can help them by gradually giving them more independence and encouraging them to solve problems for themselves. For example, rather than always telling our students the best way to complete a piece of written work or how to manage their time to meet a deadline, we can guide them to discover what will work best for them and allow them to sometimes make mistakes so that they can learn from them. Steve Jobs apparently said, Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. Good leaders need to be able to think of innovative solutions 
and to be flexible enough to come up with a new way of doing something when the situation changes. We can encourage this kind of creativity in our students by being open and accepting of their ideas and recognising that there may be many different ways of reaching the same outcome. Leading a team requires an ability to understand and empathise with others, both in selecting the right person for each task and in giving feedback after a project. Good leaders know how to give feedback in a way which does not personally wound and which is helpful going forward. They are also open to receiving feedback themselves and learning from it. There are many opportunities within the language class to work on giving and receiving feedback, as language learning is necessarily a process where we often learn the most through mistakes. Leadership skills are something that everyone can benefit from developing, especially as the world of work is generally becoming less rigidly hierarchical. We can help our students to work on these skills by firstly encouraging students to see themselves as capable of leadership and spending time discussing what skills are needed to be a good leader. Secondly, giving them opportunities to practice leadership skills within classroom activities and projects. Rather than allowing those students who already feel confident in this role to always take charge, we can ensure that everyone has a chance, supporting and guiding them as appropriate. Thirdly, we can explicitly teach leadership skills such as motivating, being creative, communicating effectively and giving and receiving feedback. I hope you join me in the next video in this series, which is all about teamwork skills.